Hello people, good evening. How are you doing? Hope you are doing great. How was your day? God bless you for stopping by once again. Guys, if you've just come across this channel, I always say this because it is one of the ways in which you can, you know, help us grow this channel together by clicking on that red subscription bell and it will pave way for bell notification. As soon as you do that, the bell notification will pop up. You click on it and click on the one written all. In that way, you will be notified or it will become to you as a message that we've uploaded. This channel is open for, you know, advice, suggestion. You know, nobody knows it all. We are just coming up. Just rest on that particular place as a mark of, you know, supporting us on what we are doing. God bless you so much. And to my returning subscribers, God bless you abundantly. Okay, here we go. A non man has been identified. Could you believe that? Let's go, get into the reading and know here who they are. A non man. We know who they are. They were born two to three decades ago in horrible maternity homes. Some of them lost their mothers because of poor medical care. They just learned that the someone stole the money budgeted for their for the building of a good hospital. Unknown gunmen. We visited some of them in primary and secondary school. They were laying under the tree. Some of them used blocks at desk, but some were lucky to learn in uncompleted and dilapidated buildings. I think that they did not learn right because someone stole the money budgeted for good schools. Unknown gunmen. We saw them recently in the university. They were living in horrible hostels. The one I met we are 12 in classroom. They had no good toilet. And I ran into girls showering outside. Wow. It was that day that the, the, the strike began. They could not graduate because someone stole the money projected for good quality university education. Unknown government. We know them. They are broke. They've been jobless for some time now. Many of them are graduates that can't find a job after years in the university. They got tired of begging for money and being called lazy youths. They just became the devil's workshop because someone stole the money that should have been used to create a job for them and keep them busy. Unknown men. We saw them on social media recently. They've been complaining on Twitter and on Facebook about police brutality. Some of them said that they were beaten by SARS just because of their la hairstyles. Others said that SARS locked them up for carrying laptops. They seem really angry because they were shot at for protesting police brutality recently. They felt neglected, exploited, and taken for granted by their leaders. Unknown gunmen. We know them. They are the angry youths rendered jobless, poor and hungry by corrupt politicians. They said that they've complained enough and have decided to pull the word trigger. Guys, this is why I said that the unknown gunmen has been identified that is why I said that unknown government has been identified. These are, when you look at this thing, I need to give, give it to the person that wrote this article. In fact, I doff my cap for the person. It is just such a well-articulated write-up. You know, you are looking for unknown government here and there. Can't you see that they are everywhere? They are these angry youths. They are the ones you did not give job. They are the, the ones who did not give good hospital. They are the ones who selling Ghana on the road. Why won't they be angry? 
unknown government, unknown government. You and I knows them. You and I knows them. Why don't the, the, the politicians, the government, put things in order and see if they will look for this government and find them? Why don't they put things in order? Make employment a priority. Create employment where this youth will be employed and see if you hear about unknown government. Why don't the government create enabling environment for those of them that want to go into business and see if you will hear about unknown government? Why don't the government make it a priority even though they are, they are not working or they've not gotten anything yet? They make it a priority of giving them a stipend at the end of the month. That is how it's been done in a developed world. Where you take your children, your family members to school, to, to hospital, to shopping, to, for, for break and all that. That is how it's been done. Those, way, those places, youths that are not working, they place them on salary. Give them something at the end of the month. You will see that they will be happy. Looking for job. And as soon as job is being provided... Put mechanism on, on ground that will tell you as a government, as soon as they get a job, the government will know they've gotten a job and they stop paying them those ones and face the ones that have not gotten. That's how things is being done. Take a proper record of debt given to every local government and every state. Know when people goes out and when people comes in. Take adequate, you know, Precaution towards the things you put in your in, in the country, so that you, those of your citizens will, will, will not eat things that are not you know meant for them to eat, or things that could be harmful for their health tomorrow. We are talking about unknown government, unknown government. Create enabling environment, create job, and see if you will hear about unknown government, unknown government. You are looking for unknown government. They are everywhere. Put mechanism on ground and see if this fear that everybody is shitting on his or her pants right now. Put those mechanisms on ground and see if those fears will not flee. And see if you hear about all these things happening. It is because our politicians want to, you know, eat everything. They want to, they have rendered everybody, you know, useless. People cannot talk. People cannot protest. People cannot complain. And the ones that, co that, 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 that come, come out for, for protest, they will be killed. And nobody will agree that the one that did it. People that, that talk, they will be assassinated or they will be warned. They will be asked not to speak again. Have you been seeing your, your vice president coming out to speak? Don't you think that there is more to that? Don't you think that there is more to that? A pastor, a son... A lawyer, for that matter, a son of that caliber, he no longer speak, he no longer talk, he only speak what to what will make please his masters. Can't you can't you reason that there is more to this? Can't you reason that there is more to him keeping quiet to this extent? There is something fishy, guys. Let's stop looking for unknown gunmen. We know them. Let us take one or two comments before we wrap it up from here. This person said, you are highly blessed because of this simple article. You are highly blessed. It is the you know, position of this person. He is thanking the writer that he is highly blessed. You know, we have a fellow leaders. That is what the person is saying. And that person said, thanks for that wonderful edition. Remain blessed. And that person said, this is the whole truth. Another person said, you are too much, sir. This is just conclusion of the matter. And this will be the last but not the least. Yes, we know them. They are the ones you mentioned above. More grace, sir. Guys, we want to wrap it up here. You've had others' opinion. Come to the comment section. Come tell me what you think or what you make out of this. What is your own opinion? Who do you think is this unknown government? Let's dialogue on your own opinion. We are here to learn, you know, from each other. No one knows it all, like I said before. Come tell me your own opinion in the comment section. Please, as you comment, comment constructively. Endeavor to subscribe, like, share, give me a thumbs up. And I will see you again in the next video.